Hey, good day class. So today we're going to discuss about some details and how to do your uh, structural. Okay. So uh, these details class is are just uh, some generic principles. Uh, so, but when you design uh, in the real practice, when you design your columns, your beans, you have to follow the National Structural Code of the Philippines and you have to consult your design or you have to consult your uh, building with a structural engineer. So a building class or any project, for it to be successful, it should be a collaboration between all the disciplines. But as an architect, you must understand the details also. Okay? Because since uh, you need to understand all these systems, Okay, so let's begin. So let's review this video on the basic rules of column B bars. So why is this wrong and why is this correct? Okay, so remember class that when you pour concrete in your uh, columns, this won't have any strength. Because it it will be very smooth. Okay. The advantage of this one is that when you already put concrete in it, when the concrete hardens, you have these two hooks connecting the concrete. So when the concrete hardens, the steel, the concrete becomes an entire system unlike this one so when you draw your details here up details avoid doing it like this okay, let's continue let's go back a bit why is this wrong and why is this correct? Okay, if you can notice last here, they what the designer did when they designed. Okay, let me look for a stick or something. Okay, can't find anything. Okay, if this is uh, if this is your column uh, rebar, what they did is just to make it like this but the problem is that when you your rebars you stick it like this it will just slip down okay especially when you already pour the concrete this one is different okay so you notice that it is not straight so it's slightly bend okay like that so that when you already pour the concrete hey, sorry class just bear with me okay so it comes like this when you pour the concrete and there's force from the top, it won't bulge okay? because it's connected already as a system. Okay? So that's why this is wrong. Okay? But the design of your structure at last, like what I've said, it would really depend uh, location to location and in its context also. Okay, so... Let's uh, look for, look, if you want to see the original video that uh, we are looking into, look for this uh, channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe this page because it's really useful. notice it's just connected like this so when you pour concrete there's a possibility that this bar highlighted the color yellow will slip down okay like what i've said before us look at this one
that's the wrong way to do your details. Look at this. Look at this connection. So let's see if there is a closer view of that. Okay. Look at this view here, class. Imagine uh, you're pouring concrete. Okay. So the weight of the concrete will pull the yellow rebar down. But it won't go down because it's going to be stopped here. Okay, so look at this one class. Okay. So we have here some protruding rebars. Okay, so when you pour concrete and it hardens, it's going to be very strong. highlighted the domestic disconnection. the end of size from that thing. So it is correct because the reverse are overlapped. So look at this detail. Okay, this one does. This is what I'm telling you about.
So look at this data class. What happens uh, when you pour concrete already with your columns? With this kind of design class, your steel ups will have, won't have any use because it won't be connected. With this one here, you'll have a connection with the concrete. Okay, so this system, this detail is um, much more beneficial and it's stronger. So he said here to avoid earthquake. So I think what he means is that um, if you're going to have a rebar design like this, if there's going to be an earthquake, of course what will happen is that the concrete will separate itself from the uh, rebars. But this one, once the concrete hardens, it will be in the, uh, connected already with your concrete. Okay, so I think uh, you can look for this guy uh, in YouTube. So you can like and subscribe in his page. Okay, so that's our lesson class. Uh, but remember, class, that these details, these are small details, but these small details uh, is very vital and important, especially during construction. So what happens when you draw the wrong details? You will be blamed for whatever which will happen to the project since you are the architect okay so when you draw your construction details class you have to make sure that those are the correct details for the project okay but remember class especially when you're drafting uh, or drawing some structural drawings you have to consult with your structural engineer okay so remember that a successful construction project is the product of the collaboration between the, all the professionals in the project. That's the architect, the structural engineer, civil engineer. You also have your mechanical. You also have your professional electrical engineer. You also have your sanitary engineer, your master plumber. Okay, then your professional electronics and communications engineer, professional electrical engineer. You and your geodetic per survey engineer okay uh, but we are discussing this because as future architects you must understand the systems anyway when you reach your higher uh, level engineering mathematics you, you you will be tackling on how to design uh, reinforced concrete okay so I, I think it's going to be much more detailed than you understand all the principles in structural design when you reach your, I think, fourth year or fifth year in architecture. Okay, so this is our lesson for this week class. Um, so if you have any questions or Qualifications, you can send a message to me via Facebook or by email. Okay, so thank you and see you next week.